Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to Xbox On. The Xbox Elite Wireless Controller Series 2 is finally here. This controller has a ton of brand new features, along with a few secret ones that you'll probably not know about. So here are 50 things that your Xbox Elite Series 2 controller can do. It just feels great. Oh, I love the finish. The way it feels amazing. So let's start off with an important point that a lot of you will probably want to know about the Elite Series 2. Yes, it will work with Project Scarlet when it comes out next year. So it's a controller that you'll be able to use for a long, long time. When you get your Elite Series 2 controller, it'll come in this carrying case, which holds the charging dock, accessories, and of course, the controller itself. The controller has an inbuilt rechargeable battery, which will last up to 40 hours. This allows the controller to have a better overall build quality as it no longer needs that battery hatch you have on other Xbox One controllers. To charge the battery, you'll take advantage of the USB-C connection on the top of the controller. You'll get a braided USB-C charging cable in the box, which is pretty sweet because having USB-C on the Elite Series 2 can mean that there is no fumbling around in the darkness to find the right way to plug it in. In your Elite Series 2 carrying case, you'll also find this charging dock, which you can use to charge a controller from inside or outside the case. There's also this slot on the back where you can plug the USB-C cable directly into the charging dock. It means that again, there is no looking around for the cable or wrestling around with a USB-C connection. Just place your controller down after a game and know that when you come back, it will be stylishly charged. You also get a whole range of different thumbsticks to customize the controller to your exact own personal preference. You'll have the two regular Xbox One thumbsticks, which you'll be used to from other Xbox One controllers, and they'll already be on the Elite Series 2 controller when you open it up. You've also got these two original OG Xbox 360 style thumbsticks, which give you that nostalgic feeling when you throw them on. And then you've also got one dome thumbstick and one tall thumbstick stick too. The reason why you have one of each of these and not two is because after a ton of testing, Xbox discovered that players would only use one tool or dome thumbstick on the right stick with a regular thumbstick on the left. This is something I'd also recommend trying out depending on the game you're playing. But the choice of thumbstick isn't the only thing you can change on your Elite Series 2 controller. You can also change the tension of the thumbstick with this tool that's included in your carrying case. There are three tensions to choose from. Firstly, there's the low tension, which is the same as you have on the standard Xbox One controller. Then you've got the highest tension, which is a little Easter egg with the Series 2 because it's the same as the Xbox 360 controller and pairs nicely with those 360 thumbsticks. And finally, you've got the medium tension, which is between the two. I'd recommend trying them out to find what you most like, but high tension, for example, is really good for first person shooters, and you'll likely notice an improvement in your gameplay and accuracy. You also get new paddles with the Elite Series 2 controller, which are called mini and medium paddles. A nice feature is that if you've got the original Elite and you like those paddles, called small and large, those will also work with your Xbox Elite Series 2 controller. So make sure to put those original paddles into your carrying case. The Elite Series 2 also features three separate hair trigger lock settings for you to be able to adjust the range of motion of your triggers. When paired with the Xbox Accessories app, it will allow you to fire your weapon faster in a first person shooter. Don't worry, we'll show you some cool settings in the app later in the video to really take advantage of this. But the three settings include the default, which is complete trigger mobility, the medium setting, which is similar to the original Elite hair trigger lock, and then this new setting, which is a really short press, allowing you to activate it as fast as possible. The Elite Series 2 controller also has four different profiles for you to switch between. Three of the profiles are customizable within the Xbox Accessories app, so you can fine tune your controller for different games if you really want to. For example, you could have one profile for first person shooters, and then another profile for racers, and then one for fighting games. The fourth profile is default, which is active when all the three lights are turned off. A cool thing with the default profile is that it also disables the paddles on the back of your controller. So if you're putting the controller down and don't want to accidentally press a paddle, you can hold the profile button down to set to default quickly and disable those paddles. A handy little tip for you. 
There are actually so many things you can adjust on the Xbox Elite Series 2 controller. You can save a total of 250 custom profiles, with three of them being able to be stored directly on the controller at any time. You've also got two different D-pads to choose from for your controller, but something you may not know is that like the first Elite, paddles and old D-pads will also work with the Elite Series 2. So if you've collected a limited edition D-pad from an event such as this one from Gamescom, then you can go ahead and put that on your Series 2 controller. Another huge feature with the Elite Series 2 controller is the fact that it now has Bluetooth. This means that you can connect it to a load of different devices to play games on, taking advantage of a whole load of services that Xbox now provide. You could connect it to your Windows 10 laptop or PC, where you have over 100 games available to play via Xbox Game Pass for PC. Or you could play any other games you have installed on your PC, such as Modern Warfare or Apex Legends with your Elite Series 2 controller. You can also connect your Elite Series 2 controller to your iOS or Android devices, which is perfect for the upcoming Project X Cloud, which will allow you to play your Xbox games on the go wherever you are. One of the best things with the Elite Series 2 controller is the amount of customization that you can do to the controller to completely change it to your personal preference. Firstly, you have the ability to completely remap all the buttons on your controller. This is especially useful on games which may not have a button layout that suits your particular playstyle or what you're used to from other games that you've played. You could also have a profile set up for when you're watching TV, so your Elite Series 2 effectively works as a remote. There are a lot of actions you can set to your buttons and paddles for your Elite Series 2 controller, which we'll get onto in a moment. Because just like your Elite Series 2 buttons can be remapped, you can also remap your paddles, with one of the new features of the controller allowing you to set a button or paddle to act as a shift key. When held, it can then allow every button on your controller to have a secondary function. This is definitely something that you'll want to take advantage of, especially with the new button mapping. Another setting you can adjust on your Elite Series 2 is having the ability to adjust your trigger dead zones. This is worth pairing with your hair trigger locks so you can get the full press at whatever lock you've got your Elite Series 2 set on. There's also the ability to edit triggers individually or have them mirror each other. Something else you can take advantage of is the thumbstick sensitivity curves. There are a lot of different presets which you can use to adjust the sensitivity curves. For example, the instant preset on the right stick would be perfect for standard running and gunning, as it will allow you to 180 slightly faster. You could then add a shift functionality to change it to something else, such as smooth, for when you're aiming down sights. So it's a bit smoother and easier to make those small adjustments you may need to make. Overall, there's a load of settings for you to change that can have an instant impact on your gameplay. Another feature of the Elite Series 2 is that you can adjust the vibration intensity of the left trigger, right trigger, left rumble, and right rumble. So if you don't like your controller vibrating that much, you can change it to your personal preference. Again, this is all done through the Xbox Accessories app. Oh, and yes, it's a small detail, but you can also adjust the brightness of your Xbox button. And remember, if you want to disable your paddles at any time, you just need to go to the default profile. There's a couple of ways for you to get there. You can either tap the profile button till all the lights on the controller go out, or you can hold it and it will go straight to the default profile. But one of the things I really liked about the functionality of the Elite Series 2 is all the actions you can assign to the individual buttons, including launching an app, muting your TV, opening the Xbox Guide, playing or pausing media, activating Xbox Record That, or taking a screenshot when you do something cool in a game. You can enter search, see your party, send a message, turn your TV volume up and down, view your achievements, and finally, view your friends lists. This controller really has covered every small detail, making it the most powerful controller that you can get your hands on. No detail has been overlooked, including this clicky Xbox button. It's a minor thing, but the glowing Xbox button clicks instead of presses in on the new controller. You've also got a complete wraparound grip to make sure that the controller never slips out of your hands whatever situation you find yourself in. 
We take great care in designing this controller. So that's everything your Elite Series 2 controller can do. It really is an amazing piece of hardware and something that I've personally been super excited about since it was announced. Make sure to let us know what you think down in the comments below and if you've been able to find any other uses for the Elite Series 2. Subscribe if you're new to the channel for more Xbox content and be sure to swing by our Mixer channel and smash that thumbs up button. We'll see you next time. Bye.